His words set free from necessity. You are told to say so much, to rehearse so much in exactly those words, to write your memos in exactly that style. Poetry sets you free from necessity. Yes, no, sir. Yes, I'll do that. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, I'll do that. And dance, what is that? Dance is motion set free from necessity. Oh, it has, it has rules. <laughs> <laughs> Over what 
one cross has been one died. He said he's very weary. He doesn't want to study war anymore. But for now, baby so looks holy. Says to her, lay him down, Seth. Sword and shield, don't study war no more. Lay all that mess down, sword and shield. After situating herself on a huge flat-sided rock, Baby Suggs bowed her head and prayed silently. Then she shouted, Let the children come! And they ran from the trees toward her in that clearing in the woods. Let your mothers hear you laugh, she told them. And the woods rang! Slave children don't often have the opportunity to laugh, but they can in the clearing. The adults looked on and could not help smiling. Then, let the grown men come, she shouted. They stepped out one by one from among the ringing trees. Let your wives and children see you dance, she told them. And you know what's happening. The wives and children have only heard them go, do this, do that, move there, move that. Dance is the motion of freedom. And ground life shuddered under their feet. Finally, she called the women to her, cry, she told them. For the living and the dead, just cry. And without covering their eyes, the women let loose. In the silence that followed, baby said, holy, offered up to them her great big heart. She didn't tell them to clean up their lives and go and sin no more. She told them that the only grace they could have was the grace they could imagine, that if they could not see it, they would not have it. Here, she said, in this place, we flash. Flash that weaves, laughs, flesh that dances on bare feet and grass. Love it. Love it hard. Yonder, they do not love your flesh. They despise it. They don't love your eyes. They just soon pick them out. No more do they love the skin on your back. Yonder, they play it. And oh, my people out yonder, hear me? They do not love your neck, unnoosed and straight. So love your neck. Put a hand on it, grace it, stroke it, and hold it up. Saying no more, she stood up then and danced with her twisted hip the rest of what her heart had to say, while the others opened their mouths and gave her the music. Long notes, held until the four-part harmony was perfect enough for their deeply loved flesh. I appeal to you, make this university a place where human flesh in all its hues, from all its lands, human flesh, which, as bodies speaking various languages of various religions of various cultures, make this university, I beg you, a clearing where people can come and dance and sing and cry and be free as is the project, as I understand it, of America. In my own life, I've been aware of the times, so many years so young, and they don't happen to me, where one seems caught between the contrary urges that you have to adopt, the will to be Pure will not to be pure. There's a sonnet of Shakespeare's, it's 129. A sonnet which focuses on the contrary urges of our nature, fixes them in its beauty so that we can look at them long and try to respond to the motley. 